It's the seventh day of our Electronic Games Advent Calendar project. Yesterday, we built this neat wire maze game that I wasn't all that good at, so I'm super excited to look behind door number seven and find out what I get to build today. So it looks like we've got another resistor. So for our seventh day, we have wire maze game number two. Let's have a look at what we need to change for this particular project. So yesterday I said we received a piezoelectric buzzer, but actually it was just a speaker. The tone we hear is generated by the microcontroller at the center of the game. To change the tone, we can change the clock frequency of the microcontroller without changing any of the code or any of the other circuitry. As we might remember from day two, this resistor and capacitor pair controls the speed of the microcontroller. So I thought it'd be fun to use a mini oscilloscope to find out what those frequencies actually are. I've gone ahead and connected my mini oscilloscope to the speaker terminals. This allows us to see exactly what frequency is being generated when we touch the various contacts. So there we saw 806 and 537. Let's go ahead and change out the resistor and find out what frequencies we receive then. So now we see 526 and 349. By replacing the resistor, we have slowed down the CPU. With better equipment, we could go ahead and measure the microcontroller's core frequency, as this is output divided by four on the OSC2 pin. Our mini oscilloscope doesn't go quite fast enough, and so we have to refer to the documentation we have here. According to the manual, with our original 68K resistor, we get approximately five megahertz, but with our new 100K resistor, the speed has dropped down to 3.5 megahertz. This has a proportional effect on the output frequency of the speaker. Unfortunately, that's not going to make the game any easier for me, so I'm gonna to need to go away and practice. But while I'm doing that, make sure you're subscribed so you can catch tomorrow's video. And in the meantime, check out my retro electronics and vintage computing content right here on YouTube.